Netflix originals. I like honey buns as much as the next guy. I'm not going to gouge your eye out for one. Then how much do you really like honey buns? The Russo brothers clearly have a thing for ridiculously giant location logos, and I clearly have a thing for sending them. Bubblicious watermelon wave. What do you say? There is no other kind. Bubblicious lightning lemonade. Would like to have a conversation with you, sir. Cortland Gentry, born 1980, incarcerated 1995, Eligible for parole in 2031. This is not Ryan Gosling at 23. This is Ryan Gosling at 23. You'd be part of an elite unit, the Sierra program. You would exist in the gray. It wasn't necessary to tell him the name of the program, and it could have been a problem if he said no. So dropping this bit of information for the audience is neither smart nor appreciated. When the letters fade, we briefly see the word GAM, and whether or not that means something is the first of many unanswered questions. You flashed 2003 earlier. Why can't you just say 2021 now? I was told there would be no math. Nice suit. I just wear what they tell me to. And they told Six to wear a red suit? The movie tells us one of the main points of the Sierra Six program is these agents don't have files and no one knows anything about them. I would think this would also include not wanting the agents to stand out in a crowd. And even in a colorful Bangkok party, that blonde guy in the red suit would 100% stand out. Making both the coolest and most annoying hotel room key ever devised. Please explain to me why I'm talking to a Sierra agent instead of somebody within our circle of trust. There was no time to get one of ours over there. Six was in the region and he happens to be historically good at the job. It's hard to buy that there was no one around to carry out this mission in a pinch, especially since later we'll see Danny kick all sorts of ass. And frankly, this weapon looks like it's doing most of the heavy lifting anyway. We have a very small window to take out a very bad dude. Go loud, six. This guy's parents didn't name him Denny Car Micromanagement. Got jammed. Where did this camera come from? And why is there a camera operating in the room six is in? Why would the CIA want the assassin carrying out the hit they f***ing authorized to be on camera? The process of six taking out part of Sierra 4's entourage is very well staged. The resulting fight, however, is all the annoying fast-paced cutting sh** that we've had to suffer with the MCU films for the last 15 years. I'm Sierra 4. I sent you out to kill one of your own. This reveal sounds like I was supposed to feel something about it. I did not. <laughs> This fire works. If you're Sierra who recruited you, Fitzroy, same as you. And apparently Fitzroy uses the here have some bubblegum tactic on all of the recruits. Is bubblegum the thing all prisoners miss most? Because I do not believe this. I doubt it's even in the top 10. Denny Carmichael is a piece of shit. That's why I'm sitting here in my own blood. And I commend you for dying at the perfect rate for expositional last words. Very discreet. The original attack plan was for six to shoot four through a couple of stories of glass flooring in a room full of people. How would that have been any more discreet? One wristwatch. Wristwatch. R1 smartphone. R1 smartphone. We know that six has the chain, so why are we being made to watch these guys inventory a dead body? SSC complete. Did he just tap that guy's eyeball? King, why? Six. Did he have anything on his person that you now have that you'd like to give to me? Considering Six had zero interest in taking the flash drive from Sierra 4, why is he being so unwilling to give it up to Carmichael? This feels more like uh, the story needs him to do this thing, and so he will do the thing moment instead of anything that would derive naturally from the previous events that took place. You 42 regular? Considering this guy is a good three inches shorter than Six, I'm gonna say no, but this outfit still fits Six perfectly in the next scene. Encrypted files that still give you a preview so you know what you're missing out on. Why is it always the last stall? Al Capone booth, I can see everything from here. You should should not be able to see anything from any bathroom stall, and if you can, then the seams on those dividers are definitely a sin. Also, this question means that Suzanne has had to come get Carmichael out of the bathroom enough times to have this kind of knowledge, and I don't know how I feel about that information. They should have touched Fitzroy's guys. They are all criminals. But unlike you, they likely wash their hands. Hell, they probably moisturize too. Bet they're smooth, smooth criminals. Ah! Meanwhile, on the most recent episode of 24, mostly it's loss which teaches us about the worth of things. We are shown a character as a sociopath slash psychopath because he, she quotes philosophers in a creepy manner cliche. You know, the last person that pissed off the old man ended up floating in the Potomac. Sounds like a character I can't wait to meet. See that plane across the way? Yeah, hard to miss. Get on it. Meeting me in Berlin. This seems a little overdramatic for just having Danny board another plane. How did Carmichael even know the exact moment Danny arrived at the plane? And why can't the plane Danny was supposed to get on just fly her to Berlin instead of Singapore? Why two planes? He doesn't make messes. Oh, he made a big one. And judging by your shallow breathing and puckered asshole, I can only assume you know why I'm here. Can we go back to how Lloyd knows Fitzroy has a puckered asshole? That is a superpower I would love to get fist deep in.
Wait. I want him terminated. I get that Donald does this because his niece is in danger, but this is some dishonorable sh** that gets all these guys killed, and the movie will act like it shouldn't factor into our assessment of this character later on in the movie. Man standing will give man sitting a look that tells man sitting they need to kill six. I'm now irritated the movie didn't show all the practice these two must have done on these coded looks. I want to see the one time man standing gave the I gotta go pee look, and man sitting misinterpreted said look and ended up killing all ten passengers along with three sheep they were transporting. Man, are they going to add smoke to every fight in this f***ing movie? You know what else the emergency oxygen masks would have been good for? All that f***ing toxic gas emitting from the signal flare. Both Six and the soldier he's fighting are directly in front of the gaping hole in the aircraft. How are both of them still on the f***ing plane? We can't see anything going on right now. And that is really what you want to aim for when you're working in a visual medium. We will now point mission break impossible for all the I still can't tell what's happening amounts of some time. I immediately don't like you. I'd like to say the same thing to this movie, but we're 30 minutes in. Looks like you overplayed your hand. Looks like you need a new phone. Kits. Six's will is preternatural compared to yours. Discount Baba Yaga speech. Every grade A wet team from here to Reykjavik will be vying for the prestige of killing the infamous Sierra Six. This really feels more like a plan A. And then if for some reason it doesn't work, maybe then you kidnap the niece of Carl Childers and threaten him to get Six to come in. Why do people hire Lloyd to clean up their messes? Because this movie isn't making a very good case that you should. I'll dig up every safe house he's ever stayed in. I'll unearth every man or woman he's ever slept with. What happened to... You know I can't find him because his file doesn't exist. Hmm, Lloyd. Which means it's 2019 and you've made me do more math, so I'm adding, multiplying, and squaring more since. Just got the high score. I had a lot of time to practice after the operation. And I've had a lot of time to skip moments such as this one, so skip. I'm gonna get back to work. I feel like since Six's job is to protect Claire and Claire is currently outside exposed to the elements, shouldn't his job right now be sitting close by and making sure she's safe? I'm not in Hong Kong in this scene watching monkeys mess with trash cans. It's odd Six is walking around with a flashlight when we know this house does possess electricity and he could just turn a light on. We wouldn't dare play the music, but the classic Mark Lindsay banger Silver Bird is emitting from Claire's record player over this fight scene, and I don't believe this movie is cool enough to have this great of a backing track. Limp Biscuit feels more like this movie's speed, and would we have seen Limp Biscuit? You better f believe we would have. Probably more than once. Is everything okay? Yeah. Broke a ball. I get that Six doesn't want to get Claire worked up, but he has zero clue if this is the only person that is on the property trying to kidnap or kill her. Get her some more safe man! Still with this present day bullshit. So when I watch this movie in 2045, it will be 2045 in the movie as well. Because I'll bet my flying car and AI cats that it will f***ing not be 2045. Nothing against Wagner Moro, who was a great actor, but was a Junio Derbez not available to play this ridiculous character? And would we have sinned a Junio Derbez? You better believe we would have probably more than once. I don't look like this when I'm washing blood from my shirts. Six decides to write Claire's pacemaker serial number on his hand instead of a piece of paper. Well, yes, you could lose a piece of paper, but does it hurt to have it as a backup in case your hand gets wet or cut off? Non-extradition and palm trees would be nice. You want Ecuador. Well, Ecuador is more of a weak extradition country than it is a non-extradition country, so might want to be specific about what crimes you're ducking. Hey, smile. Naming one of the movies released in 2022 that is worse than The Gray Man does not help The Gray Man be better. They don't usually come this attractive. Let's call harassment. Maybe that's harassment, buckle up. Doubling down on sexual harassment. I went from Harvard to analysis to the DO's desk in eight years. It's never been done before, I did it. We hear this, but at no point has the movie shown you to be good at your job, so I don't believe it. These pipes of convenience just happen to be here so that McGraver would be well supplied with the necessary resources for his escape. Reckless mystery man you guys send in when you can officially send anyone else? The gray man. That's racist. Their predecessor's idea. He funded a program to recruit hardened criminals, commuting their sentences in exchange for a lifelong commitment to the agency. Was this not established in the very first scene? Why are we wasting time on Denny explaining this to Danny? Remove yourself from my personal space. Denny's arm doesn't get broken right here. Using kilometers instead of miles. USA! USA! Lloyd and his men kick in the door, storm the apartment, and show up right when Six's escape plan is about to climax. Too bad they chose this instead of playing the lottery today. You must be Lloyd. What gave it away? The white pass, the trash dash, it just... It leans Lloyd. <laughs> okay, take a sit off before I change my mind. Ah, sh Danny X Machina! Why are we at a Bond villain's hideout all of a sudden? Why are you walking like that? Because I got shot in the ass, Suzanne! Technically, Lloyd was tranked. You're just an asset, but it's my career, my reputation. My college girlfriend used the same reasoning when I brought edibles to her office Christmas party, but I'm pretty sure she said ass hat. Get comfortable. Get comfortable like we're going to Prague or 
like jail comfortable. As if there's a difference, I'm only joking. One of these places is a cramped space full of sweat and tears and a toilet that barely works half the time, and the other place is jail. This is one of the strangest transition shots I've ever seen. The car goes off the road, and then we're transported to Hogwarts and have no idea what that was about, aside from getting your money's worth on these drone shots. Everybody be advised, he has help. We sure? Well, I didn't track myself in the ass, so yes. Lloyd would be THE Lloyd at CinemaSense. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Don't you dare bring Babe into this. You leave that piggy alone. Who's in Prague? Getting this info shouldn't even have required torture. How many current and former agents could possibly live in Prague? Whatever I just did to your ears, that's not even torture. The ear twisty thing might not be, but all the talking sure is. <laughs> you, movie. I thought we weren't getting sentimental. We're not. Alfred Woodard stole my sin. Beyond the initial surprise, this shouldn't even be a problem. Every one of these assholes is shooting at an upward angle. These bullets should all be going into the ceiling. Stay away from windows and you should be fine. Okay, get it. Between Alfred Woodard here and Jamie Lee Curtis in the last three Halloween films, we've got a weird trend starting with older retired women building basement cages. I wonder if this one has a sliding steel door with Michael Myers behind it. Well, that was unexpected. Really? Six literally pulled a sudden explosion trick right in front of Lloyd earlier. Not to mention Fitzroy will surprise Lloyd later with the same f***ing trick. Lloyd is a goddamn idiot. Why is anyone hiring him? Send everyone. Get him in there, every team. Light it up. Lloyd is about to turn Prague into a f***ing war zone, which would be next to impossible to cover up, and even someone as bloodthirsty as him would know this. By the way, they are somehow able to cover all this up later, and that is some bullshit as well. Instead of detaining Six in the back of one of the squad cars, the police decide to take the man they suspect to be a violent criminal further into a public area and handcuff only one of his hands to a bench. What in the name of time crisis is going on right now? Why is Lloyd having them waste ammo shooting at the approaching cops? Six hasn't moved, and he's unarmed. Why isn't at least one or two of them running towards Six to finish him off? This guy just died in the past few minutes, and his temperature went straight to zero. Extra 10 million to the first guy to put a bullet in this Ken doll's brain. Dialogue from the unrated cut of Barbie somehow makes its way into the script. What happened? The relay antenna must have snapped off. Movie wants us to believe the relay antenna was handcuffed to the bench too. Color coding your murder teams like they're competing on Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the Gray Man Tokyo Drift. Did he just shoot through the roof of the tram? I call bullshit on that bullet going straight through all this mechanical shit. Why in the name of the Fast franchise does landing on the hood of a car eliminate any of the physical consequences that Six should have suffered from this stunt? What I do can't be taught. You literally have one operative left out of a f***ing lot that Six killed, and your tactic seems to be simply going in guns a-blazing and fire bullets until you capture the asset. That sounds like a pretty easy lesson to teach, actually. You know you have ten fingers. Yeah, and a few cans of pepper spray in my eyes. And you can't all caps on this thing, so you have to control shift. It's a process. This is a funny exchange, but to type a capital letter, you would just need to add in the shift key. The control key would not be needed, nor would it help you if you pressed it as well. Well, he doesn't know how to capital letter correctly. I know the whole jump through a window being the safest thing in the world is just a f***ing thing in action movies, but Six and Danny were both down on the ground. Havik Sand could have easily run out of the room, into the hallway, and used a f***ing door for once. Can this movie just use a f***ing door every now and then? This movie is going to give me PTSD every time glass breaks close to me. Three point wolfing. This shot was cool, but drones just have a way of giving more attention to the camera movement than to the subject that they were shooting. The shells were coming. You, you ran away too then fast. Then you need to say, hey, wait, that's empty. This argument is only eating up runtime, so Six can say, who throws a loaded gun? And so we can get this unimportant callback. Nobody throws a loaded gun, Lloyd. During part of the final showdown. I'm going to bleed out while we have this conversation. Oh can we just. Unpack this somewhere else? It's a fair point, but is stealing a police car the right call in this moment? Six and Danny don't want to make it easy for people to track them, right? I'll buy that Danny shooting out all the power on this block is for some reason related to breaking into a veterinarian's office. The sin is them not caring that this has really f***ed up someone's day tomorrow by cutting the power to their CPAP machine. Good news is he missed the liver and the kidney. Plot organs being the new plot armor. This Audi commercial added three million years to the runtime. Since Six and Danny had to deal with bandaging up Six's wounds and the whole I shot my dad story, how did they arrive at the compound in Croatia at the same time as Havik Sant? Quick question. You a 42 regular? Callbacks! Do you consider putting a bullet in the girl upstairs a success? You know, most of the conversations in this movie only drive the plot forward because someone overhears some information that will suddenly be important to them. In this case, Lloyd and Suzanne arguing isn't important to either of them, or us for that matter. It's also the lone wolf can suddenly form an opinion about Lloyd. You're killing a girl? Because this guy being a villain was a problem for some reason. F***ing hell. You want to make an omelet? You gotta kill some people. Ha ha ha! No. You know, in English, 
We call this a happy ending. Man, if this is what happens at massage parlors, I'm never going to one again. I mean, ever. And do not pay this asshole. But Havik's job was to recover the flash drive, and he did that. So I'm starting to think Lloyd isn't to be trusted. It's too bad. I was kind of rooting for him for a second. Don't judge me. I'm a fan of people who can pull off white pants. Morons! Shooting a corpse while it's down. Yeah, I got a plan. You got your swim trunks? The movie teases us with Billy Bob and swim trunks, but does not deliver Billy Bob and swim trunks. Boring. Seriously, how many f***ing times is Lloyd and his team gonna fall for the grenade trick? Why is anyone hiring Lloyd? He's f***ing terrible at his job. Take it. I don't care about the money anymore. We're supposed to cheer this decision just because the lone wolf showed up in the third act with no character development and realized that Lloyd, the known sociopath, is fine with killing children. Also, if Havik's plan was to just give the flash drive to Danny, then why was he still fighting her? What do you say, Six? You wanna dance? Ah, the old let's throw down our guns and fight man-to-man -man bullshit. God, I hate this part of action movies. I'm half expecting Six to say, you thought this was gonna be a street fight? You goddamn right it is. And that makes me furious to the count of seven. Ugh. Lloyd's head survives this. Lloyd saves this knife to escalate things when his character has been established as a cheating asshole who probably would've and should've whipped it out and stabbed Six in the first few seconds of this fight. Me, Denny, Lloyd, we all went to Harvard together. This movie is still doling out exposition, with only like 10 minutes left. I don't care about your alma mater. Please end. This will forever be remembered as one of the darker chapters in the history of this agency. Casting yourself in a movie you directed. However, after much deliberation and based on your corroborative depiction of events, this committee and myself have decided to exonerate the three of you in this affair. <laughs> F***ing what? That's a goddamn movie, guys. He spits his gray man. Roll credits. Leaving this jar of mayo out unrefrigerated. They're gonna let Claire die of food poisoning and then Suzanne really won't have any leverage over six. Oh, look who it is. Glad we got this reunion. But whatever happened to the old man that was pulling all the strings behind the scenes? Seemed like an important character and we haven't met him yet, so this can't be over. Maybe we'll find that out before they drive off into Appalachia. Oh no? Well, f*** you too, movie. In case you confused it with Florida. In case you confused it with Bang. In case you confused it with Virginia. In case you confused it with Bakugan Battle Planet. In case you confused it with Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco GP2. In case you confused it with Chiang Mai Thailand. In case you confused it with Chicken. In case you confused it with London Broil. In case you confused it with King Kong Fitzroy House. In case you confused it with Elton John's Vienna. In case you confused it with the band behind Take My Breath Away. In case you confused it with the Chateau de Chantilly in France. In case you confused it with Ragu. In case you confused it with Washington AC. In case you confused it with Virginia. Georgia. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Danny Carmichael is a piece of sh**. That's why I'm sitting here in my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. I'm the one running this up. What up? The one where I get exactly what I want. What it do you want? Six's will is preternatural compared to yours. I, I don't know what that means. You're quite the conversationalist. I have to return some videotapes. Who's in Prague? Well, I haven't been to Prague, been yeah. to Prague, but I know that thing. I know that stop shaving your armpits, read the unbearable likeness of being, fall in love with a sculptor. You get in? No, I always get in. Don't be gross. My God, do we really suck? Or is this guy really that good? Tracking the target. No change, Lone Wolf. That is America's ass.